Hey y'all, it is getting close to time for the kids to go back to school and I know we're all starting to think about those back to school designs and back to school pre-sales for cookie decorators. So I'm here today with a couple of fun back to school designs using royal icing transfers. Now, the cookie designs that you're about to see in a moment are from a course inside the Cookie Classroom. It's a collection of cookie decorating workshops that I've put together to help you go from cookie decorating beginner to pro. And these classes are great because they have designs that you can use for specific times of the year and occasions like back to school, but the classes are mainly focused on specific techniques. So you'll see me use a couple different techniques in these cookies, but the class that I'm talking about focuses specifically on royal icing transfers. It shows you how to design your own royal icing transfer template in Canva, the free app. This course gives you the PDF with all the colors to mix. It gives you the step-by-step -step breakdown of how to use the SG Scoop method to reach the perfect consistency for transfers. The PDF gives you all the materials and supplies you need. That way you can buy everything you need and nothing you don't. You don't have to guess about what I'm using um, and you won't spend time and money that you don't necessarily have to trying to replicate this look on your own. The PDF also gives you some helpful tips for doing transfers of any kind. All the links to where I got my materials on Amazon as well as a color mixing guide that shows you exactly how I achieved the colors in the videos. Next, there are instructional videos that show you step-by-step step exactly what to do. These instructional videos take you from the very beginning where we're flooding the cookie together and creating those transfers all the way through to the end of finishing up the cookie. These videos are extremely detailed. Um, I'm a former first grade teacher, and so when I teach a cookie decorating class, my focus is always on making it as simple as possible, but breaking those steps down into little tiny pieces. That way it's really, really easy. We're taking big, complicated concepts and skills and breaking them down into smaller bites. That way they're easier for you to take on at home. This little guy was cute. He has those antennas. It looks like it would make a good royal icing transfer. So I went ahead and cropped the apple out so that all I had was the worm. And clicked done and then I just bring it up to the top and you can make these transfers as small or as big as you want so here I'm searching through the different butterfly templates and my philosophy on transfers is usually the simpler the better um, especially when you are starting out um, with transfers you don't want to do anything too too intricate because sometimes if it has small little pieces coming off of it like that pink butterflies antenna there or if you have things like that that are kind of small and coming off of the shape they're going to be difficult to pull away from the backing when the transfer dries and you're moving it from the parchment to the cookie so my thinking is always go simpler at first and then if you get confident and decide you want to go up to some more complex designs go for it maybe like the pieces on a snowflake i'm trying to think of some other things that we did that were small details here um like the antenna on the butterfly if you do antenna on the butterfly you'll want to make sure to use a piping consistency for that because it does seem to hold a little bit better when it is removed from the parchment to me anyway and it just is easier to make details with So I used a toothpaste consistency and lined with piping just to make sure that the face was kind of nice and tight together on the worm. And then for the wings of the butterfly, I just did toothpaste consistency. And you'll see here that because I'm going to do that 3D effect with the butterfly, I am not connecting those wings and I'm not adding the body of the butterfly just yet. I did do a little bit of wet on wet with the butterfly by adding a bit of green in the middle and smoothing that out to make like a little bit of a butterfly watercolor looking type deal <laughs> and then added some white to add some details 
Next, I'm using that same brown color to make the stem of the apple. Then I'm using some of that toothpaste consistency red that I made for my transfers earlier and filling in the outline and inside of the apple, just because I like it to have a bit more volume. I'm creating a black circle up at the top corner of the apple and kind of going around that with some white and red toothpaste consistency. This is gonna be the hole in the apple where we place our little cute, friendly apple worm later when we pull them off the transfer backing. Then I'm just flooding with flood consistency and kind of filling that in with my scribe. And we're going to add some more detail to the hole in the apple in just a minute. Don't worry, it'll look a lot better before we get done with it. I added a highlight using a wet on wet technique with a bit of yellow and a bit of white just to kind of add some more dimension to that apple. Next I used flood consistency green. I actually outlined it with toothpaste consistency and then filled in with flood and then I did a little bit more of that wet on wet technique with the yellow, the yellow pencil pupils to the worm's eyes. I just kind of drew a little face on him and added a tongue with the red because that's how it was on Canva and I thought it was really cute. I also drew some wings on the butterfly. I just outlined some of the different decorative elements that I made and kind of colored along the edges of the wings to get that butterfly wing look. I'm going to take these two little butterfly wings and place them into the icing that I'm popping in the center of the crease right now. So I'm making like a little butterfly body and then I'm gonna place the wings on either side. Now you could add different details to the wings before you do this, that way you have a little bit more detailed butterfly. The one that you actually see me place on the cookie at the end of this video is one that I've written on with some edible marker, so it's a bit more detailed. But this is how you get that 3D shape. You allow it to dry in the wet icing that you're placing it into on the body. And then once it's dry, you will have a gorgeous little 3D transfer that's perfect for any cookie you want to use it on. Now to work on our apple cookie. So this is the apple that's going to have our little worm friend peeking out from the hole. So I'm kind of getting him placed and arranged. And you could do the hole or the worm anywhere on the apple that you want to. But I wanted to kind of show the worm or the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. So we're going to have the caterpillar up at the top peeking out. I don't know if that's the kind of worms that are in apples or not, but I think it's a cute idea. And he's gonna, I'm adding just a bit of that thick piping consistency red as well. That way it looks like there is a hole in the apple. It kind of gives it more depth. And then we're gonna place the butterfly at the bottom after we get our worm in place so that it kind of shows the transformation from the caterpillar to the butterfly. There were a couple little eyebrow and small details I wanted to add after the fact. So I went ahead and added those to the worm and while I have my marker in my hand, I'm adding a few lines to the stem of the apple and a little curve at the top to give it some more shape. I'm also outlining this leaf and doing a line down the middle and a couple lines going out toward the side, just those little leaf veins. Okay, I got way too excited about this cute little 3D butterfly. <laughs> to apply it, all you have to do is pull it away from our folded parchment backing that we had it drying on. Once it's completely dry and the wings are set, 
you can see that this is kind of a pointed tip so I added a bit of extra icing on the bottom of that butterfly just to make sure it stayed secure and then I kind of held it in place just long enough to get it to set and sort of balanced it on itself with that icing and I just I think this is my absolute favorite cookie of the whole set I love the way that little 3d butterfly looks next to our apple and our worm The Royal Austin Transfer class is part of the Cookie Classroom program. And this program starts with the very foundation of cookie decorating, icing consistency, and helps you build upon that foundation while adding and layering in skills slowly over time. When I first started cookie decorating, I wanted to learn everything all at once. I saw these beautiful designs that the Instagram cookieers were making, and it made me want to just be able to dive in and do it all. But I found that by focusing on a specific technique at a time and kind of building upon those techniques, I was able to move further faster when it came to cookie decorating skills. And I want to help you start the process of becoming a master cookie decorator without feeling so overwhelmed and feeling like you have to learn it all at once. And that's what the Cookie Classroom does. You can get started in the Cookie Classroom for as low as $25. If you'd like to learn more, drop a cookie emoji in the comments below. I hope you enjoy these beautiful back to school cookies and that they give you some great inspiration for your upcoming back to school sets.